This video is on Intrusion Detection System and Intrusion Prevention System. IDS and IPS monitors all traffic on the network or host to identify any known malicious behavior. IDS and IPS are host or network based. You either place it on the network point and examine the traffic or on individual devices. Most admins place IDS and IPS right behind a firewall as a second line of defense for network. You will normally use IDS if you don't want to slow down the traffic and your network and host are generally secure. IDS can detect malicious activity and send alert messages but it does not prevent attacks. IPS protects hosts and prevents against malicious attacks from the network layer up to the application layer. Intrusion detection system is a passive detection system. It could detect presence of an attack and log that information at the same time alert the administrator of the threat. Intrusion prevention system is an active detection system. It will scan lifetime looking for inappropriate activity. It can shut down any potential threats. Depending on the settings and the policy, it will take action and try to contain the threat or prevent unauthorized users. However, as a side effect for that automation capability, false positives will be created and it may negatively impact your organization's network. IDS and IPS use a variety of methods. Behavior method is the most simplest one. It looks for variations in behavior such as unusually high traffic, policy violations, and so forth. By looking at deviations in behavior, it can recognize potential threats and quickly respond. Then we have signature based, also commonly known as misuse detection system. It is primarily focused on evaluating attacks based on attack signatures and audit trails. It uses an extensive database to determine the signature of the traffic. We also have anomaly based. It basically creates a baseline to identify what is normal and anything outside of that baseline is now considered anomaly. This is a pretty effective way of catching new threats.